tayo ng masaral Sa mas walang maiiwan At sayang masaral tayo ng mas tuto Upang di kayo masenso Maging matyaga, maging matalino Hindi na masaral na tayo Isang matsaya at mapagpalang araw muli sa ating mga learners at home learning partners. Kanina ay napanood natin ang lecture ng grade 7 para sa linggong ito. Ngayon naman ay ipakikilala ko sa inyo ang magtuturo sa atin ng mathematics para sa grade 8 learners. Our second lecturer is a teacher one in CMSHS for 3 years. He is a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education, major in Mathematics, Batch 2017 at Rizal Technological University. He is the advisor of Grade 10 Yukawa and currently a Grade 8 and Grade 10 Mathematics teacher. Our Grade 8 lecturer for today, Mr. John Francis S. Cultura. Good day everyone. Welcome to Project SOAR, series of online academic review for Grade 8 Mathematics for Quarter 3, Week 5. And I'm John Francis S. Cultura, your lecturer for this session. For our competencies for this presentation, we have illustrating the SAS and ASA congruence postulates and problem solving involving triangle congruence. And for our learning objectives for this lesson, number one, use properties of congruence in identifying congruent parts and congruent figures. Number two, Illustrate the SAS and ASA congruence postulates. Number three, solve problems involving congruent parts and congruent figures. Let's start with the review of the concept of the triangle congruence. Two triangles are congruent if their vertices can be paired so that corresponding sides are congruent and corresponding angles are also congruent. Here is the illustration as an example of triangle congruence. We have here triangle RTW and triangle MVS. And based on the marks given on the figure, we can say that triangle RTW is congruent to triangle MVS. Therefore, their corresponding sides and corresponding angles are congruent. Thus, side RT is congruent to side MV. Side TW is congruent to side VS. Side WR is congruent to side SM, angle R is congruent to angle M, angle T is congruent to angle V, and angle W is congruent to angle S. And now let's move on with the two of the triangle congruence postulates which are the SAS and the ASA. Let's have first the concept of the SAS congruence postulate. Two triangles are congruent if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent respectively to the corresponding two sides and the included angle of another triangle. Let's have example number one. This is an illustration for the triangle TOP and triangle MAN and based on the marks given on the figure, we can say that the postulate tells that if side TO is congruent to side MA, side TP is congruent to side MN, and angle T is congruent to angle M, which are the included angles, then we conclude that triangle TOP is congruent to triangle MAN by SAS congruence postulate. On this postulate, it includes two sides and an included angle. For the triangle TOP, angle T is the included angle between the sides TO and TP. While on the triangle MAN, we have angle M as the included angle between the sides MA and MN. 
Example number 2. What congruence postulate does the figure below illustrate? We have here triangle MNO and triangle PNO wherein NO is their common side. Based on the marks on the figure, we have the given side MN is congruent to side PN and angle MNO is congruent to angle PNO. And since NO is the common side between the two triangles, we can say that side NO is congruent to side NO by reflexive property. Therefore, triangle MNO is congruent to triangle PNO by SAS congruence postulate. Example number three. What additional pair of parts in the figure should be given congruent to illustrate that the two triangles are congruent by SAS? We have the triangle TWV and triangle YWX. And based on the marks on the figure, we can say that side TW is congruent to side YW and VW is congruent to side XW. From the triangle TWV, the included angle of TW and VW is angle TWV. While on the triangle YWX, the included angle of side YW and XW is YWX. And since the two angles are vertical angles, and based on the vertical angle theorem, we all know that vertical angles are congruent. Therefore, angle TWV is congruent to angle YWX, and that's the additional pair of parts in the figure that should be given congruent to illustrate that the two triangles are congruent by SAS congruence postulate. Next, let's discuss the concept of the ASA congruence postulate. Two triangles are congruent if two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent respectively to the corresponding two angles and the included side of another triangle. First example for this postulate, we have here the triangle TOP and triangle MAN. And based on the marks given on the figure, the postulate tells that if angle T is congruent to angle M, Angle O is congruent to angle A, and side TO is congruent to side MA, and those are the included sides, then we conclude that triangle TOP and triangle MAN are congruent by ASA congruence postulate. This postulate includes two angles and an included side. For triangle TOP, the included side is the side TO between the angles O and T. While on the triangle MAN, the included side is the side MA between the angles A and M. Next example, what congruence postulate does the figure below illustrate? We have here the triangle MNO and the triangle PNO wherein NO is their common side. Based on the marks on the figure, the given are angle MNO is congruent to angle PNO. And angle NOM is congruent to angle NOP and they are both right angles. And since NO is their common side, we can say that side NO is congruent to side NO by reflexive property. Therefore, the triangle MNO and triangle PNO are congruent by ASA congruence postulate. Last example for this postulate, what additional pair of parts in the figure should be given congruent to illustrate that the two triangles are congruent by ASA? We have the triangle TWV and triangle YWX. Based on the marks on the uh, figure, we have the given side TW is congruent to side YW and angle T is congruent to angle Y. And we all know that angle TWV and angle YWX are vertical angles and based on the vertical angle theorem, they are congruent. Therefore, angle TWV is congruent to angle YWX and that's the additional pair of parts in the figure that should be given congruent to illustrate that the two triangles are congruent by ASA postulate. The next slide is an example of problem solving involving triangle congruence. So let's have this problem. A private resort installed two additional triangular pools as an added attraction to their clients. Triangular pool ABS is congruent with the triangular pool PRD. Two sides of the triangular pool ABS measure 56 feet and 60 feet, 
while one of the sides of the triangular pool PRD measures 3x plus 2 feet. Using the given illustration, find the measure of the third side of the triangular pool ABS and find the perimeter of the triangular pool PRD. Let's solve the problem. First, we need to find the value of x in the given measurement for both triangles. Since triangle ABS is congruent to triangle PRD, we can say that angle A is congruent to angle P. Then, the measurement of angle A is equal to the measurement of angle P. And since the measurement of angle A is 2x minus 4 degree and the measurement of angle P is x plus 10 degree, so we can equate them. 2x minus 4 is equal to x plus 10. And by addition property of equality, we need to add 4 both sides. So we have 2x minus 4 plus 4 is equal to x plus 10 plus 4. And by simplifying, we have 2x is equal to x plus 14. And again, by addition property of equality, we need to add negative x both sides. So we have 2x plus negative x is equal to x plus 14 plus negative x. Therefore, x is equal to 14. After getting the value of x, we need to substitute the value of x to the measurement of side PR. And PR is equal to 3x plus 2 based on the illustration for the triangle PRD. PR is equal to 3 times 14 plus 2 since x is equal to 14 from the previous solution. Next, we have four, uh, PR is equal to 42 plus 2 since 3 times 14 is 42. And PR is equal to 44. Since the measurement of side PR is equal to the measurement of side AB, then we can say that AB is also equal to 44. Dahil nga congruent yung dalawang triangles natin, and we all know that congruent triangles no, ay may congruent uh, corresponding sides. So we have here 44 feet. Therefore, the third side of the triangular pool ABS measures 44 feet. To get the perimeter of the triangle ABS, um, we need to add the sides or the measurement of the sides given. We have 56 feet for this side, we have 60 feet for this side, and we have 44 feet for the third side, which is equal, kapag kinuwa natin yung sum nila, which is equal to 160 feet. And since the two triangular pools are congruent, the triangle ABS and the triangle PRD are congruent, therefore, the perimeter of the triangle PRD is also 160 feet. Next problem, if the corresponding sides of two billiard triangular rocks measure 13x minus 5 inches and 5x plus 5 inches, Letter A, what is the value of x? And letter B, how long are the congruent sides? For the solution, let's have letter A. Since the corresponding sides are congruent, therefore, we can equate the two given measurement, 13x minus 5 is equal to 5x plus 5. By addition property of equality, we need to add 5 both sides. So we have 13x minus 5 plus 5 equal to 5x plus 5 plus 5. By simplifying, we have 13x is equal to 5x plus 10. Um, again, by addition property of equality, we need to add negative 5x both sides. So we have 13x plus negative 5x is equal to 5x plus negative 5x plus 10. So we have 8x is equal to 10. By multiplication property of equality, we need to multiply both sides by 1 over 8 or simply divide 8 both sides no, para sa dalawa nating um, expression 8x and 10. So we have x is equal to 10 over 8 or 5 over 4. For letter B, since the value of x from letter A is equal to 5 over 4 or 1.25 in decimal, substitute it to the given sides to either 13x minus 5 inches or 5x plus 5 inches to get the length of the congruent sides. So let's try to substitute the value of x for both measurement. So dito makikita natin, ginamit natin si value ng x kay 13x minus 5 at kay 5x plus 5. At ang makukuwang sagot ay parehas na 11.25 inches. Therefore, the length of the congruent sides is 11.25 inches. 
And that ends our discussion. Again, this is John Francis S. Cultura, your lecturer for this session. Thank you for watching.